weighing the information in that report as they prepare to head to the polls in November. WXII 12's Kelly Kendall spoke to people on both sides of the aisle about what whether happened with Mark Robinson. Will sway which governor candidate they will be supporting. What happened with Mark? They say it hasn't. I talked to several <laughs> voters here in downtown Moxville. <laughs> I love the I love the answer. They say no. No, it's no big deal to them. While they have different views on Mark Robinson, they all had one thing in common. Their voting plans have not changed. I really don't know. I don't know what to think about that. It's just more of the same. <laughs> That's one of my favorite accents in the world. I really don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to think about that. <laughs> oh, man. I, I, it's... You're not dumb if you have that accent. Sometimes if you talk about dumb shit and you have that accent, I feel like the accent adds a little salt, you know, adds a little bit. Like it's not fair to automatically think that someone who talks like that is stupid. But if someone is stupid and talks like that, I feel like, oh, it's kind of kind of rough. Mark Robinson's alleged comments on an online porn forum created a political firestorm Thursday. But here in the triad, some voters aren't shocked. He has been consistently found out to have been engaged in behaviors that he has shunned, condemned, and vilified people for engaging in. And this is just more of that. Yeah, so uh, maybe you probably heard about this guy. His name is uh, Mark Robinson, and he he's a guy who likes to... Of that. Like, this has gone on. It's just one thing after another. Like He likes to talk about how he hates trans people, and trans people are going to destroy the planet, and, and everything is nasty about the trans community and they just found out through his ip address and the fact that he used his own email address to sign up for a porn site that he loves transsexual pornography calls himself a black nazi and <laughs> and that he comments frequently about how much he enjoys the um the transsexual or transgendered, they call it tranny porn, you know, it's not a nice term, but he's really into it apparently. But he's Republican and super hardcore against trans rights and makes fun of them a lot and blames them for all of the problems in America because he's kind of a, well, he's kind of a douchebag. So let's... The hypocrisy here is, is really overwhelming, but I just want to see what you think. Clearly, he's not capable of running this state. John Dinan, a political science professor from Wake Forest University, says Robinson's path to running the state was already uncertain. So the, the reaction of many general public is, I can't believe that he would have said that. It becomes almost impossible to see Robinson's campaign surviving. Republican and conservative... Do you think he'll back out? I mean, I think that if someone found out that I was doing creepy stuff about the very thing that I told everyone not to do, if I were if I were telling you, hey, don't eat animals, and then you found out that I ate animals, I'd be like really, really embarrassed, really super embarrassed. <laughs> but this guy, I don't think he's going to quit. What do you think? He's gonna. I think he's going to compare himself to another um, – you know, Donald Trump calls this guy MLK on steroids. He says he's he says it all the time. He's MLK on steroids. I love this guy. He's the best, the, the best lieutenant governor. This is Trump's pick for governor in a North Carolina. Let's see, let's see if it's wrong. Come on. leaning voters say they're sticking with Robinson for his policies. I like him. <laughs> Can you tell me why you like him? He's pro 2A. He's pro Trump. He's pro American. He's still a Republican. I'm going to vote Republican because Republicans help working class. What? He's still getting my vote. My vote. While voters remain unchanged on their. There you go. <laughs> How do you know you're in a cult is when the guy who leads your cult 
tells you to love a guy that is a <laughs> that is so hypocritical that you can't stand it. But I'm still going to vote for him because they Republicans help the working class. How the, how do they help the working class? I just love their policies. Which policy in particular do you enjoy? All of them. Could you name one in particular that really sticks out for you? I just love that that Republicans. I just like them. Oh, God, oh no! This is such. This is so difficult. You're saying it's hard to watch. Yeah, try living in America. It's it's unbelievable, man gubernatorial picks. Dinan says Robinson's comments could still impact other state and local races. In Moxville, I'm Kelly Kendall, WXII 12 News. So this is really good because um, people like him will end up will end up getting people out to vote. People will want to come see him now because they're all going to want to vote. And so people who maybe weren't planning on getting out, they're going to get out to keep this guy from becoming becoming governor. And the thing about that is once you're in the ballot box, you might as well vote for somebody. Am I right? You might as well vote on those above and below. So <laughs> people like this, North Carolina is a swing state, baby. It's a swinger. North Carolina, our friend Justin lives in North Carolina, and um, I wonder how he's going to vote. We should bring him on and ask him how he feels about Mark Robinson. Now, a few years ago, back in uh, 2022, I think, I, I want to say 22 or 21, he made this statement. Now, this is one of my favorite things. This is the reason I know who he is. This is one of my favorite little speeches that came out before this all went down. So say you're like, Sky, why are you shaming a dude that just, you know, he likes trans porn, but he hates trans people. He, so, he calls himself a black Nazi because of how he hates Jews, but he, let's just see. Maybe I'm being too hard on him, but this is the reason why I even know who he is. Takes offense at an editorial cartoon. Okay, a little editorial. You can see the cartoon is him dressed up like a like a Klansman. It says, we prefer to start with a clean sheet. New, inclusive, North Carolina social studies standards. He. This is back when they didn't want people learning certain things about race theory, but also um, a January 6th thing, too. So let's just see what how he feels about. That cartoon doesn't really bother me. What bothers me is the hypocrisy, hypocrisy. behind it. Hypocrisy? That's what bothers me, that you would portray a black man just because he's in the GOP as a classic, that you would portray an American Indian woman, a Native American woman, Olivia Oxenda, who is a Lumbee Indian and who has had to face the Klan face to face and their egregious actions and had, has had to fight against them. You would portray her as something that vile. The hypocrisy is mind numbing, folks. And I'm here to tell you right now, this office is not going to stand by. You're right. The hypocrisy is mind numbing. He doesn't mind the cartoon. He just minds the hypocrisy. He's offended by the hypocrisy. Why would you get offended by a cartoon after all? Political satire is satire. That's not his problem. His problem is he just hates hypocrites. That's his thing. And let it go by. And when I'm not going to go along to get along, I'm going to call them out on every on every time. Because here it is. What I want to know from WRAL, is that who you are? <laughs> is that who you want to represent yourself <laughs> to be? He's calling out the newspaper. State? And again, it's not a private individual. It's not a private Facebook page. That is a newspaper. <laughs> Sells itself to millions of people across this state. He doesn't like to put something that vile out. To put something that vile out. Dra calling me a Klansman. Can a black person be a Nazi? I mean, this is the guy who called himself a black Nazi. The Klansman, the KKK, they really... They started out before the Nazi Party, but they there's a lot of overlap between the KKK and the uh, and the Nazi Party. 
When I understand the person who drew this <laughs> is an eighth grade social studies teacher. That's true. And he's teaching these falsehoods. Because, by the way, wasn't anybody in the GOP that promoted the Ku Klux Klan and the ideals thereof? What? The KKK, of course, endorses the Republican Party. David Duke is still the head of the KKK. Or is he still the head of the KKK? Anyway, he used to be head of the KKK. He has full-throatedly endorsed um, Donald J. Trump. Donald, J. Donald Trump has also been palling around with lots of Nazis. He had a Nazi come to Mar-a-Lago. Big friends. Big. He's, he, he hung out with Kanye West, who said Hitler was a good guy. You know, that type of stuff. You know, there's a lot of overlap to say that, like, the KKK and the Republican Party aren't related is not true. They're very related. There's really no way to separate them completely. <laughs> there, are no, there are no, like, left-leaning people in the KKK. You know what I'm saying? There's no, there's no trans rights folks, protect trans kids folks in the KKK. Hey, who did that? This guy said he would be in the KKK, um, but they don't allow black people in. He said that. He's, that's something that he said. If he's promoting this in WRL, what is he doing in his classroom? So these standards are divisive. And this should give us pause to pump the brakes, slow down, slow down. and revisit this issue. Revisit it. And not pass these standards on tomorrow or on Thursday. Okay. What's it, well, we're what's busy it? investigating people for simply going to Washington, D.C. And yes, the vast majority of people who went to Washington, D.C. just went to have their voice heard. <laughs> there was a small minority who did some very bad things and should be punished. But the vast majority of people who went to Washington, D.C. simply went to have their grievances addressed. Talking about January 6th. Talk about a hypocrite. <laughs> January 6th, they just wanted their grievances heard. That's all they wanted. Isn't that what a political cartoon is? They want their grievances heard. That's all they're doing. They drew a little picture of you, buddy, because they want their grievances heard. <laughs> That's all they want. They didn't go and riot at the at January 6th at, in Washington, D.C. And now we're trying to hunt down those people and demonize those people simply <laughs> for wanting to have their voices heard. Or isn't that what you're Why? doing? Isn't that what you're doing? You're demonizing an eighth grade social studies teacher for drawing a picture of you that was published in the newspaper. You're demonizing the whole newspaper because you don't like what they said. Teacher in a, a North Carolina middle school <laughs> would draw a drawing like that, depicting the first black lieutenant governor as a Ku Klux Klansman. It's something we. It's Ku Klux clan ku klux clan it always bothers me when people say it wrong cannot stand for folks it's something that i'm not going to stand for free speech yes i'm all for it. what you're all for free speech but not if it, it's about you got it but when your free speech proves you to be a hypocrite <laughs> I just love this. This is like without any self-awareness whatsoever. If your free speech makes you a hypocrite, then fuck you off with your head. Like, what are you saying, man? And I will say this publicly. Proves you to be a hypocrite and a liar. <laughs> we won't stand solid for it. And we're going to stand up against it. It's happening now. And I continue to Make sure it's going to happen in the future as Lieutenant Governor. Do you guys have any questions? All right. There you go. Lieutenant Governor Mark Robbins said uh, this is just a couple of years ago where he's calling other people a hypocrite. He's outraged. He's outraged by this hypocrisy. How dare these hypocrites? They're invading. You can't have freedom of speech if it's hypocrisy. Freedom of speech only goes so far. It goes just so far as when you tell lies <laughs> or when you are a hypocrite. Buddy, you are the hypocrite. This is my favorite shit, man. This is like I love I love American politics when this type of shit happens, man. This guy. Those people of January 6th were good people who just wanted their grievances heard. But this motherfucker drawing cartoons, we got to string him up. What? <laughs> Kill cops? That's just airing your grievances. 
draw a cartoon about me? Well, that's hypocrisy and lies. And that's the limitation of your freedom of speech. You're not allowed to talk like that about people like me. You can't do it. Last thing I just wanted to... <laughs> last thing about this guy. I think I think this is the last little clip I have of him and and then and then we'll we'll move on, but it's he's so he's so great. It's hard. I probably we'll probably be talking about this. Now we are staying on top of those bombshell allegations today and the potential for a major shakeup in the race for governor in North Carolina. There I'm a black Nazi. Pressure right now on Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson from within his own party to get out of the race due to a story that CNN just published <laughs> about him, but tonight he is insisting that he is staying in. Our Capitol reporter, Michael <laughs> Hyland, staying on top of everything right now, live from Raleigh. And Michael, what is Robin saying about all of this? Well, he's got to stay in. He's got to stay in. He can't tell. He can't say that, oh, we're going to. We're not going to do this. It wasn't me on the porn site. It wasn't me, guys. It wasn't me. Don't don't blame me, guys. He has nothing. He can't do anything but deny. But they have his IP. They have his IP address and his email. Like it's him. But in the story that CNN posted, they said they linked comments. They say he made on a pornography website more than a decade ago, where he refers to himself as quote a black Nazi and expressed <laughs> support for reinstating slavery. In those comments. He also mentions that he enjoys watching transgender pornography. Robinson is pushing back on all of this this evening. But many Republicans had heard these details were going to be reported and have been pressured. <laughs> he wants to reinstate slavery, and he's a black Nazi. Bring him today to drop out. One state Senate candidate, Scott Lassiter, here in Wake County, has publicly called on him to suspend his campaign. Ballots are set to go out to military and overseas voters tomorrow. Robinson has been down in the polls all summer, trailing Democratic Attorney General Josh Stein and running behind former President Donald Trump. Sources tell us Republicans are concerned about Robinson's potential impact on other Republican candidates on the ballot, including Trump, especially in light of this story that just came out today. Um, so Trump is backpedaling. All the people who backed him, the, the, all his Republican friends are deleting their Instagram posts with pictures of him. But don't worry, it's the Internet. There's going to be a bunch of pictures of Donald Trump with him. Robinson's campaign pushed back on this, even suggesting to me in an email today that this was all made up. However, we've heard consistently throughout the day from multiple Republican sources that these conversations about his campaign's viability are occurring. And in response to all of that, Rob mm, there, it's vile. Robinson posted this video on social media late this afternoon saying he's not going anywhere. This is my favorite. Okay. Clarence Thomas famously once said he was the victim of a high-tech lynching. Well, it looks like Mark Robinson is to a man who refuses to stand on stage and debate me about the real issues that face you. Instead, they want to focus on salacious tabloid lies. The last person you want to quote is Clarence Thomas, my friend. Clarence Thomas just got impeached. Articles impeachment were just filed against Clarence Thomas for the first time in my lifetime against Alito and Thomas for being corrupt Supreme Court justices. Also, the reason why he called himself being high tech lynched was because he was under so much scrutiny due to the fact that he sexually harassed Anita Hill. He used to put pubic hairs on her coke, he used to say all sorts of nasty things to her, nearly ruined that woman's life. It was it was my uh it was my my political awakening. I remember so vividly the the hearings about Clarence Thomas and all of the salacious details of this disgusting man and what he did to this poor woman. And Clarence Thomas married Ginny Thomas, who was in, instrumental in the January 6th riots. Those people that you defend, people that tried to overthrow our government. Clarence Thomas was is married to someone, some of the organizers of that riot, you don't want to associate yourself with him. Don't don't quote him, man. You're not doing yourself any favors there, Mark. Jeez, Louise. Uh, we're not going to let him do that. We are staying in this race. We are in it to win it, and we know that with your help. We he really, he really can't win it, and he can't, he can't back out anyway. It's too late. You can't get your your name off the ballot. I mean, I guess you could say I'm not going to run, but uh, it's over. We will. 
you can't get off the ballot now. It's too late. The head of the State Board of Elections says the deadline to withdraw is tonight. If that happens, the party's executive committee could choose a replacement. However, Robinson's name could still appear on the ballot. <laughs> yeah. In that scenario, any votes cast for him would go to the replacement nominee. But as you heard from the lieutenant governor, at this point, he is staying in this race. Staying in the race. This guy wants to stay in the race. Well, why wouldn't he stay in the race? After all, he has the endorsement of Donald Trump. You know, Donald Trump thinks he's a great guy. And if Donald Trump thinks you're a great guy, you're probably a great guy. You know what I mean? I mean, just from the, the atmosphere around here, I feel like it's kind of surprising that it's a swing state to me. <laughs> um, I feel like most supporters around here are for Trump. You see more Trump signs and banners and flags here than anything anywhere else. <laughs> anything anywhere else. The atmosphere around my camper that I've set up and I'm selling these Trump vent signs. I can't believe it's a swing state, man. From what I've watched with Mark <laughs> Robinson, I've seen him a few times online social media i love some of the speeches that he does he makes a bunch of very good valid points is valid points about hating gays hating trans hating i mean the guy just spews hatred but yeah as far as anything new that's come up about him i'm not sure how to take it but i planned on probably voting red all the way down <laughs> i think president trump needs to concentrate on what president trump does and that's concentrate on becoming the president of the united states and let these the governors and the senators worry about their own battles if he endorses him then he obviously Trump's a smart man. He has a reason why he does it. He's going to have contact. <laughs> you know, God works in mysterious ways. Trump works in mysterious ways. He's a smart man. He's got reasons why he supports Mark Robinson. Don't question the reasons. What do you you know what Donald Trump's got this shit, okay? You don't need to worry about Donald Trump. Jackson, his people have contacts to find out are these allegations true against this person or are they not true? If they're not true, Trump will continually endorse them. If they are true, he will probably separate himself in some, some way, shape, or form. Golden, oh, he's got golden uh, golden golf balls, lots of Trump hats. He's got, he's got everything for sale, man. He's just really, he's made a whole business about it. What can he do? I just haven't been impressed. The shirt. I don't vote for just who... I vote for the policies, not the not the man or, or the woman. Really? You vote for the policy? Which policy do you like? Which policy do you like about... They always say they love the policy. What policy, my friend? Behind it. Uh, I want to hear what they got to say. And from what I've heard... Ooh, Florida. He's the one that's saying the right things and have done the right things. I lived oh. through four years with him. I've lived through four years with the Biden administration. And I don't see it changing November 6th if, it, uh, if they stay in, stay in the office. <laughs> There you go. I don't think anything could affect it. If you were going to vote for him, you're always going to vote for him. Because the people that are always going to I like vote she's for got him a be kind shirt on. Her shirt says be kind. That's what that's what the Trump people are known for. They're known for their kindness, you know, especially towards trans people. Not voting for him because it's Trump. They're voting for the policies. They're voting for the resume. They're voting for what he already did. That guy's back there going, you better say the right thing, woman. <laughs> they're voting for the life that we had four years ago. I like this. I want those cutouts. Can I have those cutouts? I want Melania and Trump. Look at his cool. That's a cool. No one's cooler than Donald Trump with that hat on, you know? That's so great. Melania's there. Cardboard cutouts of these two. Oh, that's great. Well, oh, Bartleby. Oh, humanity. That's that's it. Way to go. What do you think? Are you gonna vote for are you gonna vote for Mark Robinson? <laughs> Do you think the people of North Carolina should vote for Mark Robinson? Do you think it matters or do you think the policies, which policy matters more? I want to know what policies. I'd love to hear the policy that you like that makes you want to vote for Mark Robinson or makes you want to vote for Donald Trump or, or Kamala Harris. I'd love to know. I'd love to know all these people talking about policy. I want to know what policy. You are so hot to trot. What's really getting you creamy downstairs? I want to know which which policy gets you real frothy. You know what I mean? That's what I want to know, Bartleby. Till then, Bartleby, um, I'll be praying for humanity.